Today, what we're doing here, we're installing the fat tire 48 volt hub motor onto the fat motor. So we're gonna have our gas powered engine here combined with some rear wheel assist to get this thing uh, peppy enough for super long distance travels, maybe over a hundred miles. And hopefully it holds up. Uh, so here's the hub motor. It is a 48 volt, 1500 watt motor controller kit. So let me show you what came in the box. Let me make some room here. So in the box it came with a little baggie here. It also came with, let me fix my light real quickly. I got a better system for this light. Give me one second. Let me come back to this. All right, so back with a little bit better of light. So it came with this baggie, little standard bag. Came with some zip ties, the pass sensor, a wiring management. Uh, also came with two brakes with the brake sensor. Our controller with everything wired up to a degree. So our 48 volt, this is a 30 amp hour controller and it comes with junction boxes for the phases. I'm just calling it a right junction, but whatever. And one for the power and that is actually all in the box. So yeah, so this is pretty much there. Oh, and the throttle as well. Everything's pre-wired, so you really can't screw it up. Uh, you can only ruin the parts as if you're dropping them. Um, but pretty much that comes in the box included with the hub motor and the tire, which I don't know if you guys know, but for whatever reason, well, obviously more rubber, um, fat tire tires are usually more expensive. So I'm glad that it came with at least a spare uh, whenever we need it, or we'll just run it. Run it like this, run it all together since it all came in the kit and we'll just uh, run it like that. But for now, I'm gonna start the tear down of all the components and crap that is mounted onto the rear of the Fat Moto. Hold it again. Use your 10. Don't be lazy like me and try to do it by hand because I think it takes longer. And these might be under, yep, they're under tension because that's what was holding it up. So just be aware of that. More than likely this should just pop right out now. Ooh. Like almost went forward. Nice. So like I said, <laughs> keep an eye on your bike. Now it's touching the ground. So let me readjust this thing for the 80th time and I'll be back. So next step I'm gonna take is to remove this chain. There is a master link here somewhere. Let me see if I can see it and find it on camera. Here's your master link. So pop that off, separate the chain, take it off. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other end for the pedal crank chain, um, just because of the seven speed cassette that that new hub motor has. Took this motor chain, yeah, the chain for the motor, but sorry, I'm tired. Uh, and just kind of dropped it here. Didn't particularly do anything with it. Uh, just be very careful not to twist that and jack it up. And then the other side, I believe the, uh, the master link is on the inner part of the chain, so I'm gonna go ahead and just slip it off and go ahead and see if I can get the wheel down without breaking anything, and yeah, here it is. And this is why you should very much secure your bike down. This thing is heavy and uh, yeah, you don't wanna jack something up, so let me fix that before that totally screws me up later down the road. 
So I successfully took the rear wheel off. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in here. So that's completely touching on the deck. Gotta clean it. And yeah, keep going at this. Just to uh, compare these two, let's uh, take a quick look at these. Bring this guy next to it. So we have here, we're gonna have to transfer to this side, the sprocket and the brake rotor. Just checking the pattern of this. Looks like it should work. Uh, clearance wise, uh, from the top, the motor, it's protruding a bit. I think this hub motor should align basically where the previous one was at. Uh, we'll have to make sure when we put the chain back on, but overall it looks like, sorry for the autofocus, we're about the same distance off the actual center of the wheel here. So I'll go ahead and transfer these right now and uh, test fit it. So we're gonna go ahead and swap the brake rotor and the sprocket onto this new wheel and then we're gonna go ahead and attempt to mount it looks like all in all it will mount uh, we just need to make sure that it's gonna align if anything but here it is Okay, so we just unmounted this. Hopefully this all fits onto this. We'll go ahead and start. Just wanted to show you guys the parts. So it comes with a sprocket and two spacers. Two spacers and then the rotor goes on top. So just be aware, rotor, spacer, and the uh, sprocket. Dismantle this one start uh, measuring and making sure that this setup works. The spacer, I guess, that was on here, brought it over here to check just all the alignments and uh, yeah, seems like they match pretty much all around. Standard size, so nothing weird or wonky about that. Uh, the one thing I did want to mention is the screws that come off the e-bike motor. Uh, definitely are not gonna reach, especially once you do this whole quadruple setup here. Um, I'm gonna try to remount these. I think these fit just fine. Look at the same threading and everything. So yeah, seems like they fit. I'm not gonna push them all the way down just yet. Let me go ahead and route that cable through the sprocket, the spacers, and the rotor. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that, yep, it uh, mounts for sure. Uh, it looks like it has the proper clearance, at least for the uh, brake and the chain there. So, hopefully this is easier than, uh, than what it looks to be. Maybe I spoke too soon, maybe I just jinxed myself. But anyways, uh, let me try to mount it with the uh, cassette there. And I'll just try it like that for now. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we will come back to the drawing board. All right, so we're basically, or at least what I would like to think is basically the end of things or the end of the stretch there uh, because everything kind of just fit. Um, I mounted up the chain. Unless I'm blind as a bat, uh, I don't see a master link. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comments. Um, but. It'll probably be too late because I'm going to break it off and uh, probably put a different chain. But yeah, I'll figure it oh, over here maybe. Maybe it doesn't have a master link. Regardless of whatever, um, the hub motor itself doesn't require any like real modification to get it going with the fat motive. 
uh, it will just fit right in. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll be doing more things with electric motors everywhere.